Okay, so I'm Brian Bordeaux, uh, <laughs> faculty uh, in the Romaine College of Business. Uh, this August, I will be, uh, it will be eight years uh, I've been there. And I'm in a unique position. Uh, I'm in entrepreneurial uh, outreach, if you will, but uh, traditional, or non-traditional, but traditional faculty spot as well. Uh, Co-developed the entrepreneurship minor program. Uh, back in 2010, we launched. Uh, I'm happy to say is a uh, internationally recognized outstanding emerging entrepreneurship program and I bring that up because the class I have built uh, I say hi I was assigned to it but uh, <laughs> Megan and I uh, have built pretty much joined it in a hip thank goodness uh, is based on one of the core classes uh, in the entrepreneurship minor so how this actually came about is about a year ago, I was asked to be on um, a committee for the Bachelor of Professional Studies program. And uh, on the committee, we were charged with uh, looking at that as another, uh, not only a headcount um, opportunity, uh, but a revenue stream. Uh, because uh, adult learning, and I'm sure as you know, uh, professional studies programs are pretty popular. Uh, and we have a good pool of potential candidates in our region. Uh, so the charge was to come up with uh, some unique ideas, some innovative uh, new tracks uh, that might be very pragmatic, practical for adult learners that would attract them to this. And one of those that I suggested actually got picked uh, was inter uh, enterprising leadership track. And within that track is a lot of uh, business courses uh, but there's also a section that has all three entrepreneurship minor courses. So this would be the first one, Management 352, uh, that a cohort going through the BPS program uh, would go into first. Uh, so obviously this is the first one that was attempted to, to build. And this is, I don't know if this is scheduled to launch in spring 2017, but it, was, it needed to be done by spring 2017. So here we are. So 352 is a course about ideation uh, innovation. More or less, how do we come up with really cool ideas? How do we uh, effectively communicate those ideas? And how do we continually validate those ideas in the marketplace uh, based on uh, you know, consumers, primary information, secondary information, to continually iterate uh, ideas to improve upon, to pivot, to change, to fail and fail fast and move on to another idea. So the big challenge with this course, since face-to-face -face is highly immersive, um, experiential, uh, and dynamic, to take that coaching, I'm Coach B in class. Uh, my colleagues are Coach K and Coach J. So we're very much facilitators and coaches. We don't do traditional lectures. We don't have textbooks. We don't have exams, per se. Um, it's a lot of coaching. We set up context in a vignette type style. We don't use PowerPoint a lot. Um, so it's setting up concepts, you got it, in the context, and putting them to work. Then they discover questions, problems. Hey coach, you know, uh, put me in the game, uh, or take me out. Uh, we need more research or, or what have you. So that was really the overall challenge. Uh, and why it, I think took so long is the, the first semester was really looking at how do we shrink down 16 weeks Again, all those things I mentioned into seven and a half online. Um, so, with that being said, I was kind of walk through um, the overall layout and just going off my cheat sheet of questions. Um, brief introduction, overview of the course. I, one of the, the three things I think going into the design that we talked about initially was a really clean layout and design, fairly intuitive, uh, and more dynamic with all of its components rather than static, right? Here's, a, here's an assignment, upload, a download PDF or text or you know, word files or things of that nature. So I wanted to make it as dynamic as possible. So as participants uh, log in, the welcome to start here page, again. Uh, you can click on start again, so and then you'll have a live view. Uh, so a brief overview of uh, the course, uh, describing the modules one through seven, uh, what's expected in the course, 
Um, and what each weekly module, uh, as we're calling these, um, will contain, uh, what will be inside those, including a brief description uh, overall of what we're going to do that week, as you'll see. Uh, the learning objective um, to be addressed, learning activities to complete, and a to-do checklist uh, for their convenience, right, so they can follow along and make sure, okay, that week is in the bag, we've done that. And I've also included here the overall objectives of the course, so they understand the context of what we're getting into. Uh, and then uh, why the course was designed, just a brief statement that I took from the syllabus, focused on, again, generation of ideas, validation, evaluation, communication, and refinement of those ideas. And then uh, it was good to have on here, I thought, meet the professor to break the ice and uh, get to know my mug and uh, a, a little bit about me. Uh, and then introduce themselves. Sometimes people are eager uh, when they know that's going to be required, even though this is in uh, the first week where it's actually uh, required delivery that they wanted to go ahead and get started on that because they're excited to post and see you know, their, their peers and who else is going to be in the course. And then we have them take uh, ambassador ideation evaluation preference scale pre-test before the course. And this is more for me uh, to assess, and we do this a post-test as well, uh, participants' uh, cognitive or mindset orientation towards uh, ideation and creative problem solving. It's not an evaluation of how they ideate or problem solve, but more of their current uh, orientation to that. And what we found face to face, uh, since we've been doing this overall, uh, is that there is an entrepreneurial mindset shift in a positive direction. Uh, however you look at that based on the questions, uh, but we can uh, empirically prove that. So now it's going to be interesting to see if does that translate uh, online. Is that an outside test? Or, so how do they send the results, or do they automatically come to you? Yes, they'll ultimately fill um, the pre oh, okay. out online. Oh, gotcha. Submitting so all the okay. questions. And then, yeah, that gotcha. Come back. You got your plug on here. I thought it was like an outside, kind of like a Myers-Briggs, something you like You can that. Uh, source it um, outside, but I know the creator of that, Min gotcha. Asador. Mm -hmm. um, and we published using these results, so okay. he's pretty much, hey, keep using it in an right. academic setting if yeah. you want, because we're cross-referencing right. you know, publications, mm -hmm. right. he's, he's happy for that. Uh, and then, Sorry. of course, <laughs> you have to click on welcome. I get the link to the okay. And then uh, the course syllabus, of course, um, is, is on this page. It's just a quick, I mean, pretty much everything in the syllabus um, is what most people would have the course description, <laughs> learning objectives up front, overall core competency, because we have these in the College of Roman College of Business, is really critical thinking, which easily intersects with, with all of these learning objectives. Uh, the module weekly objectives connected to the overall course objectives. Um, a lot of other expected information communication with the professor. Um, Course assessments, I think this is good, so they see at a glance all the activities, how they're tied uh, to the overall outcomes. And then keep them on track, uh, the overall course events calendar. So everything in green is uh, what they're going to be responsible for, and everything in red is what they're going to receive back uh, from, from the professor of this, of this uh, course. And of course, when we know exactly when this is going to run, we'll put absolute due dates on this so uh, they know because that goes to the grading policy. And, right. You know, late work is not accepted because mm -hmm. of the pace of this, this right. course. And we're doing a lot of group work. And of course, grading methods, uh, breaking up the individual assignments uh, and the team assignments, and then ADA policies, uh, et cetera. And, uh, so try to keep that as lean as possible as well as to everything that is uh, relevant to the course. And then the actual, uh, this is what I really like. Uh, each module is just very clean. Here is the week one, discover self and teams, the learning objective that that is tied to, uh, and a little bit of an expansive explanation about what it means to better understand your creative preferences, your self, uh, self-reflection, you know, your peers, how that fits in, strengths, weaknesses, etc. Here's that uh, convenient uh, to-do list uh, 
uh, for everything that could be expected to be contained uh, in the learning activities. And then when you click on that, here's a learning activities overview of why they're in order, the way they're in order. Um, again, it's due this week, so here's that Bassador pretest in case they didn't want to jump right in uh, <laughs> on the opening page. Uh, meet your professor again and your classmates. This is where the assignment uh, is for them to upload. Uh, the Creative Problem Solving Profile again. Uh, a peer reviewed article that myself and my colleagues wrote really about 352. Uh, the uniqueness of the ideation process that we created, etc. So that is going to help them. Uh, I used this last semester in a face to face class where I didn't have as much time to set up the context of an optimal mindset, the ideation process we're going to go through, etc. And I found them actually reading the article and extracting uh, pieces from that uh, really lent to their expedited understanding of the, of the course and where we were headed. And then uh, a metaphor pitch um, is one of the things that's due, uh, one of the first group assignments. So a lot of the other are individual assignments, right? The post-test or the pre-test and, and the introduction. Uh, so this is one of the first group assignments. Uh, so metaphor, uh, metaphor pitch uh, instructions are contained in what I call lecture vignettes. Pretty short and sweet. I contain uh, the criteria inside of this so they get a, a Good setup, explanations, some examples of metaphors, what we're looking for. Here's the actual metaphor assignment. Click through here to upload uh, the ultimately the URL and password uh, where they post uh, on Vimeo uh, their pitch. Um, so that's where they submit that to me. And then I include two metaphor exemplar videos of past teams have done a really good job at metaphor pitch. So they get the context, you know, marrying that with the criteria of what do we mean by high energy, dynamic, you know, good eye contact, uh, parallels between the visual elements and, and the verbal elements of explaining a metaphor uh, as it relates to an entrepreneurial mindset. So I think that really helps. So again, that's pretty much the overview of, of, of week one. And I don't want to belabor each one of the weeks, but they're all laid out um, more or less the same. And week two, one of the things I'm, I'm I guess, most intrigued by or, or uh, proud of at this point, as long as it, it out, the outcomes are, are good, is the uh, actual ideation immersion. So again, an overall explanation. We're tying this to a learning objective, a little a bit about ideation, the checklist again, and then uh, the learning objectives. So now we start having peer evaluations, self-peer evaluations do. We do a lot of group work, so social loafing uh, is just not allowed uh, in this course because of the pace that moves. So this gives them uh, an anonymous voice. And I take, um, I take that seriously to put heavy weight on their peer evaluations of self uh, and then how their peers are performing, uh, which could affect individual grades as well. And here's the overall rubric or you know, scale of quantitative and qualitative information uh, that I want them to provide. And again, me explaining the peer evaluation, the methodology behind that, and I have a, a good example contained within uh, this video. Uh, journal one entry, we have uh, all participants in an individual activity, but all good entrepreneurs reflect. And I have them reflect on specific journal questions. Uh, throughout that really looks back at the last week's activities uh, and the reflections and how they're going to integrate this feedback that they get and that experience to progress forward uh, in class. And then group meeting summaries overall. Uh, and here's, again, uh, criteria to help prompt them for what I'm looking for in the group meeting summary. And then I contain uh, the actual rubric uh, within here of uh, the quality of planning, organization, research, <coughs> feedback, integration. Problematic areas that I've seen face to face that I just don't want to see incur online because I think there might be a greater opportunity uh, for that to happen. So I just broke down. That's exactly. really good. 
Well, I did. I didn't. I learned from the best. No, I didn't see that before. I was like, whoa, Brian. I was here 11 hours yesterday. I've been working. That's really good. So then they'll submit that here. Okay, very well. And then, what was I, week two? And then the other last thing I'll show you. Uh, I'd like you to show the ideation class and video. I think that's well, interesting. Well, uh, this is the introduction to the ideation process video, and this was the is the ideation process. But again, I it can't link be because you created that initially, uh, so I couldn't. Interesting. But it'll more or less um, look okay. like this. But this is the explanation setting up the overall process. So again, a lecture vignette with the PowerPoints explaining the methodology behind our process and how to engage uh, with the process, as I said. But the cool, one of the coolest things is I think the way this is now set up, the ideation process is based on uh, research of this multimedia effect. So I'm setting up, uh, initially what they're ideating around is a crane naval base patent. So they're taking intellectual property in the military context ideating on that to try to come up with commercially viable ideas to create new businesses around. So it exposes them to technology transfer. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they do come up with viable ideas, which some students have, Crane will transfer that technology to you uh, to create a business and start selling that new product or service or whatever comes out of it. So we created uh, the ideation process. Once it starts, uh, they're exposed to uh, everything from uh, random concepts, visuals, videos, music, uh, mega trends, and once the process is started, it can't be stopped, and it shouldn't be stopped uh, because we don't want you to overthink, get stuck on an idea, overanalyze, overjudge, because that's typically what we do, and that kills creativity uh, and innovation. Uh, so it's designed to go all the way through once a team member engages it and starts it. Uh, that they go through and start capturing uh, usually hundreds of associations based on the stimuli intersected with the claims and benefits from the patent. So that's how we get to the weird and wow ideas initially because we have no blinders, right? Anything's uh, possible. So that's one of the, I guess, highlights of this. And then the final uh, week is, a, is another unique highlight which still tweaking on exactly the platform but students uh, or participants will actually make their final pitch because each week builds on that iterative process of integrating feedback, journal, reflection, summaries, how are you moving forward, primary information, secondary, have better validation. We keep building that idea, building that pitch better and better so that we're going to have a virtual panel logged on and they're going to make a virtual live pitch real time then to that panel. And they're going to be more or less our shark tank, thumbs up, thumbs down, which we do in class. We're going to create that uh, experience online. In theory. <laughs> so, uh, and what was your question again? Sorry, what was the, you said make sure I work in? Oh, um, kind of at the end, reflecting on this process. Has, has it changed your perception of online teaching, online learning, or how is it um, affected what you do currently in class? Just yeah. kind of overall, generally speaking, yeah. what do Any, you think? I had no really uh, preconceived notions because I hadn't built anything. I'd taken a couple classes online, but they were just quizzes, you know, nothing, nothing spectacular. Uh, but this really opened my eyes, especially the quality matters. I don't know if people have varying views on that. Uh, even though it was, you know, a process to go through and the modules to learn, uh, but I'm keeping that workbook because I see uh, applications to my face-to-face, -face, mm -hmm. and I don't see why other faculty wouldn't see you know, value, whether they ever teach online or not, in running their face-to-face -face course design mm -hmm. through QM. It just it makes sense. It's easier that way. Right. <laughs> um, uh, but going, after going through this process, I'm, I'm, I think this is probably the most challenging course I will ever have to build. So I'm, right. I will actually I look forward to mm -hmm. building building another one um, uh, for sure. Um, but it does take a lot of time, um, you know. And like I said, this is one of the busiest academic right. years for whatever <laughs> reason. And uh, I'm kind of in the corner, but uh, it'll be done. So have you taught it in eight weeks before face to face? 
we've used this course in multiple platforms with Connect with Southern Indiana. The Entrepreneurship Miner is a platform in a social entrepreneurship setting. We've done workshops. This is used in the Technology Commercialization Academy, and that was started out as six weeks. So we shot that full of steroids, <laughs> and it works. But they're there eight, eight hours right. a day. Right. Yeah. Face to face. And they're face to face. Right. Right. Um, so we had to really streamline. Right. Uh, what can I really pull out? And of course, it can't be A or F like our our face to face is, because I don't think the same rigor is there. And I don't know that that would be fair uh, to do that, how to engage to an online learner. Uh, but I think the iterative learnings uh, are there, how to start with nothing, create an idea, uh, a process that can be put in your toolkit, you know, and walk away and, and, and take all of this with you and understand the value of, of, of ideation and innovation in the workplace. I mean, I truly commend you. This is a really in-depth course. I mean, this is so... Difference. Yeah, I, I, I hope it is. Um, I've been now so so <laughs> ingrained in, in, in it that it, it I'm, I'm glad the review is finally here, even though I could use another week, but it's like I'm anxious now for other right. people to go, you know, mm -hmm. I just don't get it, or this is really interesting. I, I don't, right. you know, I'm sure there'll be a little bit of both. Right. Some more clarity needed, right. or tweaks needed, obviously. I expect that. Right. Uh, but I'm hoping. Just from the visuals, the cover art, the mm -hmm. the look, uh, how it flows, that it is something right. something unique. So. I think we're going to have another hour in there. Mm -hmm. I can see things are slowly together. It would be excellent. Yeah. So hopefully you will get the opportunity to do quite at least one. I'm sure I will. To enjoy that. The, the I need to know it. how that flows. Yeah. Because ultimately, if I'm going to be, a, I think we'll call it an instructor on record, you know, to teach adjuncts or others that are going to come on and teach gotcha. these, I mean, I need to know yeah. right. sticking points or flow or this is going to take me much more time than you think. Right. And how that's how that works. So, but again, thank you. I didn't mean to stress you out so much. Uh, no but problem. You've been absolutely amazing. I'd be flailing. <laughs> uh, without you or your department. I'm sure any one of you could. Um, I got stuck with Megan. So. <laughs> yeah, you got stuck with me. Well, I hope we stay in touch. I'm really interested to see how this yeah. turns out for you after the yeah. spring. I am as well. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we start in a revolution. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Was that enough? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Very good. Yeah, that was